It has been 26 days since the tragic school shooting at Perry High School, and now school staff, students, and the community are looking toward the future. Tomorrow, Perry High School students will head back to class. I'm Erin Kiernan. I'm Elias Johnson. Thanks for joining us at 5. The trauma from that day is hard to get past. WHO 13's Lindsay Burrell has a preview of what that first day will look like for those students heading back. Lindsay? That's right, Perry High School students will officially return tomorrow to school. And while the goal is to give students a normal return, things are going to look very different for students as they and school staff move forward. School administrators released some of the key differences that will take place tomorrow for students. Here they are. Students are not supposed to be dropped off prior to 730 AM unless supervised. High school students have an early release time tomorrow of 145 PM and all high school students are required to enter through the main door of the school. Now at the end of the day, all students must exit the building within 15 minutes of the last bell and students will not be able to wait inside the school for after school activities. Now here are some resources that are still available for students as they return to the classroom. Grab and go lunches continue until tomorrow. Counseling support services will be available to all students and additional law enforcement and support administrators were also hired. Many of them passed educators, principals and administrators with decades of experience. Additionally, Lutheran Church Charities will have five comfort dogs on site at Perry schools tomorrow as well. Today, Perry High School is holding an open house and you can see in this video Perry teachers returning to school grounds. Also in a video posted to the Perry Facebook page, Perry High School interim principal Brad Snowgren spoke to students and families returning back to the classroom, sharing the goals of remembering and honoring what the community has been through, the lives lost, and the goals looking ahead. Let's move forward with hope. We will support one another. We will stand strong. Thank you for showing up, for bringing your kind hearts and courageous minds as we work together to stay Blue Jay strong. Again, more information about tomorrow's return can be found on Perry School's website and their Facebook page, Elias, which we will have both linked on our website, WHO13.com. And Lindsay, I know this has taken a little longer than they initially mm -hmm. thought, but apparently that's because they wanted to make sure they get this right for these students. Absolutely. As you see, there are a ton of resources in place to make that transition as seamless as possible. All right, Lindsay Burrell, thank you very much for the update.